Hi everyone, in this video we're going to study the integrated circuit pin configuration. So let's get started. So as you can see here, this is basically an integrated circuit that contains four amplifiers inside it as you can see. Basically this is a logical circuit here as you can see in pin number one. In pin number one we have the output as you can see of the first amplifier so pin number two and pin number three are inputs as you can see okay so if you have inputs and for example you didn't get the output in pin number one means this amplifier is a bad amplifier automatically means the whole integrated circuit is bad so to get the output you should have Two inputs and here in pin number four we have do v plus this is basically the voltage the working voltage for this ic as you can see so without this volt voltage this ic cannot be working properly so basically this voltage can be 5 volts 12 volt 9 volt in accordance with the type of the ic here of course in pin 11 we have the ground the ic should be connected to the ground because every electronic component should be connected to the ground so here in pin number five and pin number six are the inputs number two for the second amplifier as you can see and we will get the output in pin number seven so if the two inputs are present you should get pin number seven and output in pin number seven here we have the third amplifier with the same working principle and of course the fourth amplifier with the same working principle so 12 pin 12 and 13 are inputs and pin 14 is the output here we have another integrated circuit basically this is a large integrated circuit with 64 pins as you can see this dot here means this is the pin number one as you can see so this is the pin number one as you can see and the reading is in this direction counterclockwise okay so pin number one two three four etc okay so always the reading for the integrated circuit is in the counterclockwise okay so here in pin number nine as you can see we have vss vss means the ground okay vss or voltage of the source and here we have vdd or voltage of the drain so vss for the ground and vdd is the working voltage here also we have other pins that hold vss and vdd because basically this is a very big integrated circuit that's why we have many pins that holds the power and of course this is the reference of this integrated circuit as you can see peak 16 l e 19 46 dash 47 so if you want to change or to replace this integrated circuit you should replace it with another integrated circuit with the same reference so basically here we gonna see some symbols in order to go deeper into understanding how to read schematics so let's see this general symbols so as you can see this first symbol means a simple wire as you can see this is basically a simple wire exactly as you can see here in this picture okay here two wires that not connected or oh, so this is basically no connection wires okay not connection wire and here these two wires with this dot means connection two wires connected together as you can see here in the picture okay here also the same as we have seen before this is all these wires are connected together so this black point means connection but here for this symbol no connection okay as you can see exactly as we have in this image here we have a switch as you can see basically this is a switch Okay, the symbol of switch this is a simple switch or a single pole double true switch because we have just one pole 
and one two okay this is the image of a single pole double switch here we have a test point okay this is a test point when you, if you find a line like this with a dot means t p or t point here basically this is just a general schematic or circuit where we have a cell or a battery switch a lamp and cables okay so just to understand the electronic basics so here this is a wire basically okay this is a wire here we have a switch basically this is a single pole double throw switch as you can see here we have a cell just one cell or a battery so let's assume that the voltage of this cell is about 1.5 volts and here of course we have a lamp okay so when the switch is closed the lamp will be eliminated because the voltage will pass through the switch so basically this is a basic circuit here we have basically other circuit let's assume that this is a level 2 circuit so here as you can see we have some resistors these symbols are for resistors okay so this is resistors basically and this black dot means connection okay all these black dots means the cables are connected together in that point but here no connection these two cables are not connected as you can see here we have not connected here basically this is a ceramic capacitor this is not a polarized capacitor this is a ceramic capacitor the reference of the capacitor is c and the reference of the resistor is r here we have basically a transistor okay this is the symbol for the transistor basically we have two transistors here so basically this type of this transistor is npn because the arrow is toward the emitter so this is npn transistor so basically this is the base collector as you can see and emitter okay so base collector and the emitter okay